Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back. It is Tuesday, right? The 18th. It's <laughs> the days just keep melting into one another. Okay, let's see what's happening for today. The 18th of August. 2020. Let's see what the collective message is for all today. Oh, I love it. Celebration, family, friends. Let's, let's, right? Let's get some wine and celebrate. We're celebrating something. Maybe just it's time to, time to regroup and celebrate life, right? It's time to go out with your friends and not worry about all the overwhelmingness, right? Of um, of social media. Okay, so we have orange depicting the enthusiasm and happiness that maybe someone has completed a creative project and everyone celebrating. Also, stabilities, right? The, so she has the gown of creativity. She has the gown of, of stability. And she has the gown of truth, okay? And together, not only are they, they're happy because they're also reaping a lot of rewards here. Growth, creativity, just really being happy, right? Thank God. It's kind of like three girls who are in business together and they're collaborating and they've come up with either a new idea or they're celebrating the completion of a project together, right? <clears throat> That's nice. Yeah, there it is, a project. Doing a project together or starting something new, right? With three others. The universe is handing this huge pentacle saying, here, here's an idea. Let's, let's get it together and do it. Here's an idea. Here's a new direction. Follow me. Let me show you the way. Clearly, let me show you the way, right? Look at right through that underneath that, um, that beautiful gateway, so to speak, is where I'm head, where I'm showing you where you should go where you want to go don't worry about money it'll come so if you're starting a project if you're starting something new don't worry about the financial part of it or who's going to give to who and how much don't worry about that just go for it right be happy and go for it someone okay so of course in a you know, the pack of girls or women that are getting together to do this new project, you need, and this is a good thing, I'm just going to say, it is a good thing. You need someone who's going to not be too frugal, but enough to say, wait a second, do we want to spend this amount? Do we want to just push back a little? We're not needing to beg for anything, but we don't want to have to borrow. Clear, visible, clearly. So if, you know, you always have someone in the group, which is always good to have in friends and et cetera, is the voice of reason, right? Do you really want to spend X amount of dollars for whatever it is, you know, for this project, right? Even when you're looking for a home, do you want, you know, it's like, okay, uh, I'll spend this much. I don't want to go over too much because, you know, I have to hold on to some of this money so that I can have some left over for, you know, as a nest egg, right? So it's nice. It's not being, it's not the beggar and it's definitely not someone who you know, is going to say we need more. If anything, it is push back and see exactly what is it that meets your needs, right? You can do things and have just as nice things 
with less money if you are smart about it. Universe says, and that's how you balance your life, right? The balance is not too much. And that's why this is a five. This is a five and this is a four. So wherever your needs are being met, if you need to spend on a project and these girls are getting together to do something, right? This means I have, let's go, let's, let's balance it out. It's a five. It's right in the middle, right on the scale. It's not too, it's not too little and it's not too much. It's right in between. And that's what the point is. Balance it out so that it's right in between and that you're not going over your, let's say, budget. Okay? Whatever this is, whatever you're doing. The Queen of Cups, she's looking at this cup saying, okay, this is going to make me really happy. What will make you happy? If you balance out, you balance out your money so, and you hold on to your money so that you have it for the future. Always keeping, and it's it's also for the, for the water signs, money is about, if you are a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you guys are all about the money. However, emotionally, if you're not, you know, balanced, it'll show up in your emotions. It gives you anguish. If you're, if you're feeling like you have less than enough, right? It doesn't, I mean, it's not, you don't have to be just a water sign for that, but it's clear that unfortunately the, the concept of money in our society has completely overpowered the, the actual reality of the value that this money, that money brings and maybe that's what this is about, right? Look at how you value, not just yourself, because we don't want to put a price tag on you, right? Even though it sounds like it when we say value yourself, it's not about the price tag, but it is about, you know, not feeling less than, less than because you have a budget or you have only X amount of dollars to spend. Or you don't want to go over the limit because emotionally it will be draining for you. You know, that's really, what's, what is that called? That's called smart financing. Okay, so, you know, take heed. It's not just the earth signs that can, you know, that feel balanced when they have money in the bank and put away, right? Okay, let's take these because they just flipped out. All right, so what's coming at you that's so quick? Are you needing to make a decision really quick and you don't want to? I feel like this, if this is, look at, sorry. This is coming at, this is coming at the queen, right? The queen of cups is looking at her cup and balancing out this, balancing out her life, balancing out her finances, making sure that what she, you know, it's so weird, my left, this, my left, <laughs> um, my left palm is itching, so this means receiving money, so maybe I'll be receiving money, because it's funny how we're talking about money, and this means receiving money on the left side, right? We receive. We give on the right. We receive on the left. I love it. All right, so that's interesting. And that was clearly maybe someone's receiving money or someone has to give out money in order to receive, right? It's part of life. It's the give and take of, of the reciprocity. It really is. So if someone's coming in quick to maybe help the queen, We'll see. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so these people are completely out of the picture. So that's good. So the Queen of Cups has decided that she's only going to deal with these people who give her hope and 
a feeling of personal power and we can do it. And we're like, these people make you feel empowered. They bring you up. They raise you up, right? You see, they raise you up. Here, these people had to be let go because these people drag you down. So this is the energy of the balance, right? Who, who raises you up and who drags you down? Very clear depiction here of how in the middle, smack dab, is the angel of balance. Smack dab in the middle. So that's exactly what that means in terms of, right? Not spending too much, but yet giving in a balanced way to others or others to you. A sense of balance is happening for either a project you're spending money on, who you're working with, who you want to work with and give your time and energy to, for sure. That Queen of Cups is like, hey, don't, don't come back. These people, don't, these people are not allowed back, right? One of them, one of these five, here's another five too, by the way. We have two fives in the, in this spread. So their changes that you've made, being the Queen of Cups, have been smart. Now, someone could, one of these, one of these could be coming back to you, to the Queen of Cups, right? Look, to the Queen of Cups to say something or to, to heads up, there's something I have to say, heads up, I'm sorry, I don't know. Let's see what this is. These came out. All right, so the Queen of Cups is looking at where she's going, what her next move is. She's planning ahead, right? This person is planning ahead. What is in front? The world is your oyster and I'm going for it. And it is about the money. It is. Are, is the Queen of Cups, is the Queen of Cups wanting to be with someone who's financially stable? Or, you know, you want to make sure that no one's riding your coattails, right? Look, you don't want anyone riding your coattails. You want someone who's going to be stable, secure, alone first. So that's a huge balancing act. See, look at that. Is someone hanging on to you for just your money? That is really hugely a factor here. You got people behind you. Another five. Hello. These are big changes about people who only hang on to, only hang on for the money. And I hope that's not you. I really do. I, it's, I'm sure that it's not. These are people that want to win at all costs. Doesn't matter who they hurt. See? They all got up again and said, you know what? I will, and this is like, this is drainage, energy drainage. This is verbal attacks. So they're coming back. These people are coming back to like give you their peace of mind while you're like looking forward and you don't even see. So some of you have to be careful because you don't even see these people coming. You're too focused on your, your money. So listen very closely to this reading. Make sure that people are not trying to hang on to your coattails. Make sure that people are not, these people that you're, that you're not hanging with are not trying to, to come back and win at all costs, right? They want something from you. They see you happy. They see you secure, right? This is secure, happy, your creativity. Could this be three women fighting over, right? Well, I want to do it this way. And I want to do it this way, right? And someone's taken these people out of their life, but they're still hanging around. We have water, earth, and fire. There's the only swords here is the is the trash talking that's going to be happening with these people 
there's going to be trash talking in a group for sure. They have not spoken enough. They want to lash out even more because they don't, they have to get like the last word in. That's what I'm feeling with these two cards. So you have a group of people here who are not, some are, some, maybe you're working with new people now, right? Here's the balance. The new people you're working with raise you up. The others that you're like, they're lingering, right? They're hanging on, they're hanging by a thread. The thread of your coattails and trying to get money or trying to manipulate you for money because they see you happy and secure and very creative. Make sure you do not allow people to override your sense of worth by taking you for granted. And here it is. It's, it's not going to happen. They will be exposed. The issue will be exposed. And we will be able to get rid of these people who are no longer, you know, help. Like, they're not good for you. They're not good for your self-esteem, obviously. And, you know, it really matters who you hang with. It, it's a representation of who you are. Okay, so this, this knight is coming in to warn. This knight is coming in to warn this queen of cups. Hey, heads up. While you're planning your future and where you're going and who you're with and what you're doing, right? You've got some, maybe some people who are jealous, some people who want what you have and they will do whatever it takes to make your world, right? We, we've talked about it just recently, the other day, last week. Misery loves company. Do not allow others to take your happiness. If you're, an, if you're a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, Aries Leo Sag, or Virgo Taurus Capricorn, people are not happy and they want to make your life miserable like they are. And you've probably dis, you are disattached, disassociating yourself from these people. And there are others that, well, these are the same people. They don't, they want to continue to jab at you. So be mindful of that. The good news is you're taking your, so this could be the Queen of Wands. She's got the, the big, it's huge happiness, new beginnings. It's a rebirth. She speaks her truth and she doesn't, she doesn't list, she just doesn't, she knows they're there. If this is you and you're sitting pretty, right? With your sunflower, we've talked about it, right? Everything is so good in life. Money's looking great. I feel great. I'm making progress, creating with either yourself or whatever. And emotionally, people are trying to, you know, to come back and get, you know, get the last word in. But it doesn't matter because the queens, the queens know emotionally they are stable and they are keeping and maintaining their happy place and focusing on what it is that the future is going to hold. It is going to hold great, great love and new direction for someone. Like I said, we have earth, water, and fire. And people are still, look at they're going to come, or they already have. You're going to see the true colors of people. So be, just be mindful, right? People get exposed, especially when, you know, they're not happy and you are. I mean, that's just, this is just your general. Others are making you, raising you up and others drag you down. And you're taking, you're taking that balance and putting it exactly where you want it, which is in your happy place. 
and you're not you're only focused on your like what's coming in where am i headed next and you're not looking at these people who are trying to be manipulative and verbally bashing you whether it's behind your back or not just let them do their thing because you know it's their it is truly their karma prayer and contemplation so someone is praying for this this to be done some people are contemplating their new direction right charity comes in to say connect with heaven and ask and you shall receive so someone whether it's water earth or fire is saying the prayer is show me the way show me the way that's it I'm contemplating where I'm going, but I'm really happy. I'm secure, I'm happy, and I'm feeling, I'm really feeling, this could be all one person, okay? I'm feeling really good, and there are people that don't want you to feel this way because they're unhappy. They don't have the same drive and the same feelings of, you know, your attitude is everything. Now, we know that, don't we? Your attitude is everything. So what you have prayed for and the you are the one who has humbled yourself to the point where others are denying their own happiness because they're not happy. But you stay in your own place, right? Stay in your own place of happiness and joy because this is great expansion and personal power and people don't know they don't know how to get that same feeling that you have. They want it, right? Of course. Energy radiates outward, right? Energy radiates outward. We have... And, and people catch your, your vibe, right? So these people, these people are not happy and they want to they catch... They want to give you shit for your vibe being so happy, go lucky. So that's all it is, really. Radha says, soul flame, rediscover a lost part of yourself, experience relationship, harmony, and feeling. For sure, this is my happy place. I have prayed, I have waited for this to come into my life, and no one is going to shake you know, shake me down. It's just not going to happen. It's really, it's really good. Let's get one more here. One more for this beautiful reading of no one takes us down. There it is. The world is your oyster. Don't forget you are part of the whole, right? You are the energy right here. It says the earth connection. You are the energy that, that, that is mother earth. Be mindful of the planet and come back to earth and stay grounded. So be mindful of the planet, charity, give to others when you can, even if it's just a kind word, like to these people, especially these people who lash out, these people who are in competition, so they think with you, say a prayer for them because these people need it the most. Because you have become your whole self. And through that wholeness, you're going to go into the wild blue yonder and do your thing. And whatever it is, it makes you extremely happy. Wherever you're going, wherever you're headed, let universe take you there. And just be your happy self. And the energy will vibrate out to others and hopefully will contain people who are not happy with their lives. Have a great day.